Proportionality Examination Questions Grade 12 Mathematics Paper 1 A uh, Paper 2 When you answer this kind of questions Start by having a good and clear analysis of the information provided so that you may put it all up together before you answer the question. Let's just do that and see how we can get the answer to this question and get the six marks allocated. First of all, we are told that AB is equal to 1 over 4. Or AD equals to 1 over 4 times AB. Now, we may want to express this fraction in the normal way that we are used to so that we can be able to see the ratio, how it relates to our diagram. AD is equal to 1 uh, of AB divided by 4. Then in this fraction, we can cross multiply. If we cross multiply, we get 4 multiplied by AD is equal to 1 times AB. Then dividing both sides by AD, uh, dividing here by AD, this will cancel out AD and divided by AD will leave 4. This is equal to AB divided by AD. And this 4 is 4 over 1. So we can safely say that AB to AD is equal to 4 as to 1. That is the ratio that we get from the first uh, set of information that we have. Putting that into the diagram, that is my AB and that is my AD. AB is 4, AD is 1. And from these two, we can therefore conclude that DB is equal to 3 units. So that DB, which is 3 units, plus AD, which is 1 unit, will give us AB, which is 4 units. The next part of the question talks about AE. AE divided by EC equals to 2 to 5. Now, because we have parallel lines, because we have parallel lines, in our diagram, if you look at the two parallel lines we have, now we have a parallel line here, this, this, we have a line from point E, we have another line here. If you are given parallel lines, your ratio af affects both sides of the triangle. That is proportionality. We apply proportionality if we have parallel lines in the diagram. So in this case, it means AE over EC must equal to AD over DF. So AD is 2 units and DF is also 2 units. Now look at what has happened on the left side of this diagram. I have one side of the diagram and I have got on that side different ratios kind of crisscrossing each other. And to make it easier for me, it is advisable, it's not a requirement, but it is advisable to express our ratios using variables. So I can say the first ratio, which is given as 1 over 4 there, the one that we just calculated. I want to express this one in terms of x. So this is going to be 4x and then the other one is going to be 1x. Then the second ratio given, which is 2 to 5, I can express this one using y. That would be 2y, and this one will equal to 5y. And I have to indicate that to the examiner. So we start by saying let. So let line AD be equal to x, and then AB will become 4x, which means in this diagram, the line AD, this one here uh, at AD is going to be 1x, and this one here is 3x, and this 4 is 4x. That is, if we let these measurements be done in terms of x. Then from there, we have uh, the next ratio. We express the next ratio using a different variable. 
So now we have put y, so that means AD is going to be 2y and DF is going to be 5y. Now we can answer this question. We have already established that AE over EC is equal to AD over DF because of the proportionality theorem DE is parallel to FC. Now from here we can do direct substitution. We want to find the value of BG over EG. And if you look at the diagram, you will see that BG is uh, this line here. This is BG divided by EG. That's divided by this line here. And because of these two lines that are parallel to each other, we can say that BG over EG is going to be the same as BF. Uh, this is BF divided by, it's BG over EG, BF divided by FD. So to answer this question, we must find the measurements of BF and FD. That would be the six marks needed. So from this instruction, we can now do substitution to carry on. The value of AE, uh, from what we have put up here, we said this ratio is in terms of Y. So this is uh, 2Y divided by 5Y. That's my AE over AC. This is equal to AD. Uh, we have expressed A to D as, uh, as X. So we're using this ratio here, 1X divided by DF. And the DF uh, is this part here, which is equal to 5Y. But I want these measurements to be the same. So I'm going to now determine the value of DF. So carrying on, I have 2Y over 5Y is equal to X over DF, which means I may need to find out the value of DF later on. If I cross multiply these two, that's how I get to this expression. Uh, I'm going to have this y and this y are out. So 5 times x will give me 5x. Then 2y times df is equal to 2 times df. So I cancel out this y and this y. Then I cross multiply. After the cross multiplication, I divide this side by 2. And I divide this side by 2. That will give me the value of df. So df is equal to 5 over 2x. That is the line from d to f. This part here. This is equal to 5 over 2x. Now from here I need bf. From the diagram, bf uh, from b to f is equal to bd, which is this piece here. That's 3x minus fd if you take b to d 3x minus df you will get the value of bf and we are using the measurements that are there bd is equal to 3x and fd is what we have calculated in our previous calculation here it's 5 over 2x so 3x minus 5 over 2x this is a negative sign let me just correct that one uh, 3x minus, this is a minus, minus 5 over 2x. Uh, it gives us 1 over 2x. This is the length of the line from B to F. Now we can conclude our answer. So the answer for this question is, is basically done. BG over EG. BG over EG is equal to BF over FD. This is the proportionality theorem. Then we substitute the value of BF, which is half X divided by the value of FD, which is 5 over 2X and simplify. The answer will be 1 over 2. This X and this X cancel each other. Then our question is answered. This is proportionality. It's a bit heavy. Uh, there are quite a number of options that we can use to answer the same question. But we just decided to go through this route in this particular question. After studying it for quite a while, you can be able to come up with the different methods in which the same question can be answered. But yeah, this is proportionality, grade 12 mathematics, paper 2. It needs quite an amount of studying to get it right.